Um, so I'm trying out the got grease everywhere, I'm trying to concentrate to get this part over the wet soon as possible. Can't be sure, can't taste the meat, so I'm gonna dose it up one more time with Montreal steak. Alright, that hamburger meat is, I want to say that is done. You just go over it real good to make sure you don't see anything pink. I'm going to go ahead and cut the eye off because it's so hot it's still going to cook for a moment. And it is going to bake. Mix up. Almost time to get that cheese out. Mm, that smells delicious. I can't wait to give it a taste. taste test to see how it tastes. Mmm, wow. Y'all gonna be asking for my address so you can get you a piece. This is good. Oh man, that's so good. I just don't know if I need more noodles. So, we'll try this, see how it works. See, let me check the camera to make sure. All right, perfect. You can see. So I was told to do a layer of sauce. Man, that's our spider. Okay, we're coating the bottom of the pan. I mean, just a tiny bit more. I like my stuff saucy, real saucy. Okay, so layer of sauce. Do we need more? Okay, just a tiny bit. There we go. Something tells me that's right. Mamma mia, here we go. Wow, you can't even tell. I mean, you can see the green peppers. You can, but I don't think it's that big a deal. Okay, we have sauce. Now, let's do a layer of the pasta. Okay. Definitely going to need... Are we going to need more pasta or what? 
Don't know. Don't know, man. All right, so let's see here. Kind of tore a little bit. No, we're not going to need any more pasta. Oh, you stuck together a little bit. They want to be together so bad. We're going to let them be together right here. What do you think? We'll just scooch this one on over. They want to be together real bad. I know the feeling, but let's see here. That's why you can't even separate them. Let's see. Oh, yeah, you just gotta start off small, and then the next thing you know, they'll be separated. There you go. Perfect. I'll throw this back over here. I don't think there's any need to double up. You like cheese as much as I do? Mmm. Nothing but crap and mozzarella. Can you see this? Let me get you a little closer up. Okay, so now another layer of noodles. Hey, it's ain't that hard. Kind of like it. It's kind of fun. And you definitely just need the one box. You don't need two boxes. Unless you got a bunch of people coming over. Alright, so we did another layer of noodles. Now, we need to go back with more sauce. Kind of make sure that's flattened down. Something's telling me since this one's kind of curled up. Let's um, do one more right here. Man, they're trying to stick together on me so bad. There we go. Perfect. Can you see that? Hopefully you can see that. Just have to... Uh, Kind of play with it a little bit to get it where you want it, and then bam, hit it with that sauce. Show it who's boss. Hit it with the sauce and show it who's boss. Let's see. It's getting real saucy over here. It really is. Look at that. Man, this is looking good. I use the tallest, or I think that's the biggest. No, I think they have one size larger. So you may benefit from getting the bigger jar of sauce. I think this is going to be good. Now let's do another layer of noodles. Followed by another layer of cheese. Mm. So it does take a little prep work for sure. Hey, anything worth it, anything worth doing your time, worth your time is worth doing right, you know. And to do it right, it looks like you just need one box of noodles. You need some real good, high quality cheese. Sargento is probably the best cheese, but it is quite expensive. It wasn't too bad. Um, I mean, maybe it was like maybe 50 more cent compared to Kraft. So we just did sauce. Can you guys handle a little bit more cheese? I don't know if you handle any more cheese right now. Gotta say some cheese for the top, I bet, right? Don't, don't have cheese on top? Cheese and sauce on the top. Yeah, that's the top layer. Cheese and sauce. So I'm gonna try to make this work and we'll do one more layer. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? I don't really care. We're gonna do it either way. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, that sounded harsh. So let's see here. Okay, noodles. We need noodles. Right. Right. I don't know, it kind of looks just like noodles on noodles. 
All right, I got my hand on here, so we're not going to use all this cheese, I promise. Get my hand on there to save as a reserve. More noodles. Yeah, I may have too many noodles. I think this is going to be the top layer. So, good thing we saved some sauce. Oh man, I hope I have enough sauce. I'm going to like an idiot. There you go. an idiot before, but I don't like it. Alright, here we go. Now let's use the residual cheese. Wow, that sauce is on point. I needed two bags of cheese, honestly. More cheese and more sauce. But you live and you learn, right? This is the first time. We're going to see how it turns out. I have a feeling it's still going to taste good. Either way, I, I have a feeling it's going to taste good. Yes, my hands are clean. Alright, perfect. There we go. Now it's prepped. So if you're going to go ahead and cook and preheat the oven, I imagine the 350 and let it roll. But i got to wait until closer to dinner time. I didn't clean up as I went this time. It seemed a lot more stressful. Not cleaning up as you go. It's all this crap in the way. Okay, perfect. So we still have some noodles left over. Didn't have enough cheese, didn't have enough sauce. So hindsight's 2020. So uh, I guess you need two jars of sauce or one and a half. And you need about two bags of that cheese to do a real good job. Everything's so expensive, man. That cheese is five dollars just for that bag of cheese, just to do this one meal. But it's gonna be a couple meals, you know. Anyways, that's what it turned out to be like <clears throat> before I cook it, and um, hopefully it'll be good. I'll let you know what it turns out like. All right, see you later, guys.